involving gases and chemicals. to protect the skin. A gas protection suit covers the entire body and forms a tight barrier against the existing atmosphere. The material of the suit must be resistant to the gases and chemicals concerned. The heating load involved in the use of such suits is big. A former survey showed that at 20 degrees centigrade, the period of use is less than two hours with moderate physical activity. The period of use can be increased by ventilating the suit by means of a compressed air apparatus. The overpressure in today's suits prevents, for example, wet gas from penetrating through, for example, pinhead holes. The overpressure is automatically adjusted. Important requirements of the gas protection suits are the suit must be cut in one piece. The suit must be soft and comfortable and easy to wear during work. The suit must have a gas-tight zipper that should preferably run from the left shoulder to the right thigh. This allows for fast dressing and undressing. The rubber boots must be welded onto the suit. The rubber boots must have steel toe caps. The mask must have an easily adjustable panorama window. The gas protection suit is designed to provide the best possible protection against as many skin penetrating gases and chemicals as possible. It is therefore a very good all-round suit, that is, a suit which protects against both gases and chemicals. The manufacturer's brochures provide an overview of the individual suits and their uses, extra equipment and requirements for special storage procedures. When you put on a suit, start with the boots, then the sleeves, put on the hood, adjust the face opening, and close the zipper. Pull the support ring down over the cuff, put on the gloves, and pull up the cuff rings. Then you put on the compressed air apparatus and connect the suit's ventilation to it. Pure chemical suits are not gas proof but there are a number of excellent suits on the market for handling chemicals where no requirement exists or to resistance to gas. Such suits are comfortable and give the users great freedom of movement. Remember that for both types of suits, the choice of gloves must be based on requirements of resistance to gases and chemicals.